Assalamualaikum my dear students hope you all are fine today i am going to teach you unit number 3 pip meets a convict pip meets a convict pip is a boy name and convict means prisoner okay content this content is very important to understand the lesson my dear students this unit has been divided into different labs the first one is reading and explanation next one is word meanings then question answers working with words learning about language and last one is workbook activities okay here is the session number 1 explanation okay uh, here is the explanation of this unit with moral so listen carefully this is the story of a boy his first name is philip and his family name is philip when he was a child he couldn't say and pronounce his both names so he started calling himself pip what he started calling himself pip so this everyone one day he was visiting his father's grave where he was visiting his father's grave it was very cold day and the grey sky was making him feel very sad because he realized because he feel that he was an orphan and he started to cry what he realized he realized that he was an orphan and he started to cry at the same time he heard a noise what he hear he heard a noise there was a man who want him to cut his throat if he starts running that man looked like a prisoner prisoner means convict dressed in rough clothes and had an iron chain on his legs he was warning pip that if he doesn't give him anything or if he told his name to anyone he will harm pip tells the convict that he lives with his sister and her husband and her his husband and her sister's husband and his brother-in-law is a blacksmith the occupation of his brother in law is blacksmith okay when the convict hear that his brother in law is a blacksmith he asks him to bring a file file is a an iron tool okay so that he could cut his iron chain on his legs the convict warns him if he doesn't get him a file and some grub what's the meaning of grub grub means food then he will of course harm him okay now pip was very frightened because of the convict's warning okay now the convict told that if he does bring these two things he will let him live the convict also warns that there is another man who is following him pip said that he will do everything as the convict said then he said good night ran away and never looked back okay moral of this lesson is never go out without elders permission okay session number 2 words meaning okay here are the words meaning okay my dear students these are the difficult words of this unit so you have to underline these all words on your notebook okay first one is battery a forge second word is back blacksmith a person who creates tools churchyard the area around a church used for burials next is cars rough convict means prisoner grub means a slang word for food okay file a metal tool used for cutting or smoothing hard materials marsh means a wet land area by water usually covered in small plants nettles means a weed that stings skin when touched orphan a child whose parents are dead ravensley eating fast due to greed or hunger tombstone a large flat stone standing or laid or a grave okay weathercock a device used to show which way the wind is blowing 
wilderness, a natural space that has not been shaped by people. Okay, session number three. Question answers. Dear students, you have to write these question answers on your notebook neatly. First one is, what was, was Pip's full name? Answer is, Pip's full name was Philip Perrup. B is, where did he live and with whom? Answer is, Pip lived in his sister's house with his sister and her husband. Okay, C is, why did Pip start to cry in the graveyard one day? Okay, answer is, Pip started to cry in the graveyard one day because he realized that he was an orphan and felt sad. D is, what did the convict tell Pip? To get for him answer is the convict told pip to get him a file and some grub what's the meaning of grub yes yes food and what's the meaning of file yes an iron tool okay e is where and when did the convict want to meet him again answer is the convict wanted to meet pip early the next morning at the battery Battery basically, there is a fault name. Okay. Session number four. Okay, working with words. Dear students, you have to these, uh, you have to write these word meanings again on your notebook neatly. Okay. Part B one. Find the correct meanings of the following in a dictionary. Okay. A is iron, a strong metal. B is safe. Protected from danger. C is present occurring now. D is danger. The meaning of danger is the possibility of suffering injury. E is fail to be unsuccessful in doing something. Okay, duck. To push in loose pieces of cloth to make it tidy. G is tilt. To move into a sloping position. H is hugged, squeezed tightly. I is file a tool with a rough surface used for shaping a hard metal. Okay, J is creep to move slowly. Okay, next is session number five. Dear students, the letters of these words are jumbled. Okay, so you have to arrange these letters and rewrite on your notebook neatly. Fine. Part B2, the letters in the words below are jumbled. Rearrange these words easy. Okay, first one easy words you will write. A is said, B is what, C is went, D is stone, E is name, F is live, G is times, H is arms, I is file and J is came. No two easy words. Okay, A is roasted, B is clothes, C is hurt. D is Tom's talk. Okay, session number six, learning about language adjectives. Okay. Dear students, before starting this task, I want to explain you about adjectives. So listen carefully. Okay, adjectives describe the quality of a person, animal, place and thing. It modifies or gives more information about a noun or pronoun. It also describes how someone or something looks, tastes, feels, smells or sounds like. Okay, words for numbers, colors, size and shapes are also adjectives. For example, beautiful girl. Here beautiful describes the looks of the girl. Okay, for example, salty chips. Salty describes the taste of the chips. Okay, for example, soft pillow. Pillow is soft. Okay, soft describes the feels of the pillow. Okay, loud music. Here, loud describes the sound of the music. Okay, let's start this activity. Underline adjectives in the following. A is once upon a time, there lived a young girl. Here, young is an adjective. So, you have to underline this word, young. B. She went to the to a good school and had a clever teacher. Good and clever both are adjectives. So you have to underline these words. C is 
By mistake, she brought her old textbook to class instead of the new one. Old and new, both the adjectives, so you have to underline. D is the forgetful girl thought the teacher would shout at her in a loud voice. Forgetful and loud, both are adjectives, so have you, you have to underline. Okay. E is but the thoughtful teacher noticed the poor girl's expression. Thoughtful and poor, both are adjectives, so you have to underline. F is the teacher opened her metal cupboard with a shiny key. Metal and shiny, both are adjectives and you have to underline. G is, you can borrow this sphere copy, said the kind. Sphere and kind, both are adjectives, so you have to underline. Okay. Session number seven, suffixes making adjectives. Okay. Here you will learn about suffixes. Before starting this activity, I want to explain to you about suffixes. Okay, surf means sub, below or after and fix means to attach. So, a part of the word added to the end of a word is called a suffix. It has a meaning. Remember that a suffix changes the meaning of the word. Some antonyms are formed by adding suffixes to words. For example, Pain and full is painful. Okay, some suffixes like able, less, etc. are more words too. For example, able means is able to, less means to be without. Okay, now let's start this activity. Add suffixes to these words to make adjectives. You have to do this activity on workbook. Okay, A is harm, harmful, full is suffix. B is harm, harmless, less is also suffix, then painful, thankful, truthful, careless, useful, hopeless, playful, tasteless, pointless and useless. Okay, next is learning words. Here are the words and these are in alphabetically or these are here um, uh, written the alphabets and you have to write these alphabet in these circles okay so first one is tire then headlight radiator hub boot windscreen door window and steering wheel so you have to write these uh, numbers or alphabets of these words in these circles okay in a right way Okay, in a right place. Okay, session number eight. Here you will do comparison. Comparison of these three girls. Maham, Rima and Naima. Okay. Write sentences about the three girls. Use the name as and the words in the brackets. In the brackets, these are the words. Cat, here, bag. Here, Blouse, skirt, bag, watch, cat. We have to use these words for making sentences. Okay. A is Maham's cat is the same as Naima's. B is Maham's hair is the same as Rima's. C is Maham's bag is the same as Naima's. Okay. Use isn't and aren't the same as in three more sentences about the girls. Okay, we have to use in these three sentences isn't and errant, and we have to use ear, hair, blouse, and skirt. These words also. A is Rima's hair isn't the same as Naima's. Mahan's blouse isn't the same as Rima's. Rima's skirt. This word is skirt. S K I R T skirt isn't the same as Maham. Okay, use different from in three more sentences about the girls okay we have to uh, use the word different and we have to use these three words also in the sentences bag watch and cat a is rima's bag is different from naima's mom's watch is different from rima's and rima's cat is different from mahan's okay you have to write neatly on your workbook Okay, thank you my dear students. Have a nice day. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.